Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, Bohemian family. I hope you're having a very delicious day. It's Mino and Amina. We are in Azerbaijan. Today, we are invited to a small village deep in the Caucasus Mountains and try tons of delicious traditional Azerbaijani food. Are you hungry? Yalla! We came here to have lunch before hitting the road. Our driver, Mr. Faris, offers me some preserved white cherries to go with my tea. Bismillah. Wow! This cherry jam is so nice. It's sweet and somehow creamy. Oh. These are the ingredients for our lunch today. First, they fry mushrooms, peppers, and folded lavash bread. Then she fries lamb ribs and seasoned with salt and chili peppers. Oh, she also fries chunk of lamb liver and marinated chicken. Then she puts all of the meat and fried vegetables on the traditional convex griddle, such. Wow, look at this fried dish. Azerbaijani saj. Yes. Let me try the lamb rib first. Oh, yes. Bismillah. It's so juicy and buttery. Mm. Wow. Super tender, yeah. Mm hmm. We've got fried pepper, potato, crispy lawash, and lamb liver. Fried lawash, capsicum, mushroom. Yes. The fried vegetables go very well with the crispy lawash. Mm. Mm-hmm. Let me try the fried marinade chicken. Mm. It looked a little bit dry, but turned out to be more tender than I expected and well seasoned as well. Lamb liver and fried eggplant. It will be a nice combination of bitter and sweet taste. Mm. It's just amazing! This is sparkling pear juice. Wow! Yeah. Mm. Look at this Azerbaijan traditional motal cheese fermented in the lamb skin about three months. So dear, fried tomato, dill, cilantro, spring onion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, look at this cranberry pickle. It's a nice blend of salty and sour. Tomato pickle. Wow! Oh, don't there. This is spicy, salty tomato pickle, which is very nice. Azerbaijan people are genius for making jam and pickle. Yes. On the side of the road in the countryside, we found a lady selling traditional Azerbaijani snacks. Oh! She sprinkles the dough with a variety of finely chopped herbs and seasoned it with salt.
The smell of chopping herbs is so fresh. She also sells a variety of homemade gems and pickled vegetables. I think it's almost done. Wow. Some butter, natural butter she slathered butter on the warm flat bread. <coughs> oh, Sarolun. Look at this good top. Wow, a lot of butter in it. A little bit of sumac. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Uh -huh. Wall it up. Just like this. Oh yes. Bismillah. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. The variety of herbs are so fragrant and slightly bitter and very fresh. This gutab is probably the most healthy street food I've ever tried. Yes. This region is also very famous for natural honey. After a short tour of beehives, she gave me the opportunity to taste her honey. Oh, I'm gonna try it with honey. Mm. It's a sensational combination of slightly bitter, buttery kutab and sweet honey. It's much better. From apricots. Kiwi, apricot, pomegranate. Oh. Oh. Look at this dried fruit. It's almost like jelly. Oh. Oh, is uh, like wild Mmm. Mmm. This is made from plum and it's slightly sour and salty. The people of Azerbaijan always serve black tea to their guests. And some of them still use a wooden fired samovar. Samovar tea is tastier than tea made in a regular kettle. I think it's because of the infusion of wood smoke. Oh, good to you. Good to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the aroma is so fantastic. Just like this. Then. Oh. Wow. The flavor of rose and thyme with black tea. What a heavenly combination. Yes. I have learned to enjoy tea the Azerbaijani way. Mm. As we drove up a steep incline on a more challenging mountain road, we realized that we were on the peak of the Caucasus town of Khinalek, which is often referred to as an island in the mountains. Our host already made a fire with animal dung to preheat the stone for the barbecue. When we entered the kitchen, we found the hostess cooking rice. When the rice is done, she adds the braised chicken, dried apricot, dates, and raisins to the rice, then cover them with rice again. After repeating the process a few times to create layers, she sprinkles turmeric and melted butter on top and starts cooking again. Meanwhile, in the courtyard, our host is coating the heated stone with a piece of lamb butt fat. He cuts up a free range chicken and a piece of lamb butt fat.
Then he chopped the small onions and sprinkled it over the meat. They don't use fancy spices, just salt and pepper are enough for the mountain people. A chicken sandwich between two stones? This is unexpected twist on a recipe. What a surprise! Smells crazy! He covers the meat with the stone again after flipping them. Mm. <laughs> wow, let me try this Guiruk sandwich. Bismillah. Mm. <laughs> So buttery. Mr. Faris would also like to take part in the cooking. He surprised us by unleashing the superpower he had been hiding. The day is winding down and the barbecue is almost ready. Oh, she pours extra water. Wow. Look at this stone sandwich kebab. Bismillah. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I think this is free range chicken. The meat is almost like red meat. Yeah. The homemade pickle trushu. It tastes fresh and deep, mm. like kimchi. The rice is so fluffy. It's almost like well-made biryani. Mmm, apricot pickle. Mm -hmm. So sour and sweet. My favorite part, chicken wing. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this cheese. It's a bit salty and it has fermented taste. Very nice with Mr. Faris salad. Oh, we have the village organic lentil soup. Mmm, there are lentil, herbs, and potato. This soup is really rustic and hearty. Mmm. Lemon. Mmm. Strong cloth taste and lemon. What a heavenly combination. Yes. This trip is sponsored by Smile Tour. Welcome to Azerbaijan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The next morning, on the way back to Baku, we stopped for brunch at Beshbarmak area. Assalamu alaikum. 
Oh, but look. Oh, it's sturgeon. He put a grilled sturgeon on lavash bread, added some raw onions with coriander, sumac, and pomegranate syrup. It looks good and smells awesome. I can't wait to try this unique sturgeon kebab. We ordered a plate of sturgeon and some beef lula kebab. Wow, we have beluga kebab. Look at this beluga. Bismillah. Mm. The meat has a mild, slightly sweet flavor, and the texture is quite firm like chicken. So mm. that's um, Oh, look at this beef kebab with a lot of sumac, salted cabbage. Mm -hmm. Cabbage and capsicum together. Mm. Homemade spicy sauce. A little bit of lemon. Don't forget, subscribe to Bohemian Kitchen and hit the like button. Yes.